everyone, it's Frank here from the Dreamers Lane Nursery. We've counted all your votes and guess what? The winner is Simon Sock. So today I'm going to read you the story of Simon Sock. The authors of Simon Sock is Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett and it is illustrated so the pictures are by Nick East. Shall we begin? I hope you're sitting comfortably. Simon is extremely stripy. He lives in the sock drawer with all the other socks. It's very cosy in there. Every morning, all the socks in the drawer get very excited. Who will it be today? In comes the hand. Pick me, pick me! Everybody waits, holding their breath. And two socks get picked to go on an adventure. The sparklies go to the party, the woolies go to the park, the smarts go to school, and the sporties go for the burn. Ready, steady, go! Everyone has a turn. Everyone except Simon. I'm not a smelly sock, and I'm not a holy sock. Why do I never have a turn? Because you're odd, says Spotty. The other Spotty agrees. Yes! You only get picked if you're a pair. Oh, I didn't realise I was odd, said Simon. Maybe the spotties are right. If only I was a pair. We could skate, we could bounce, we could hula. We could have so much fun, said Simon sadly. I've got it, shouts Ted, jumping to his feet. I've got a friend and he's stripy, just like you, Simon. Come on, he lives in the hall. Simon, this is Alphonse. Alphonse, this is Simon. And everything was going so well until in walked Petra. Oh, silly me, said Ted. I forgot they were already a pair. Don't worry though, Simon. I have another stripy friend. Simon, meet Shirley, said Ted hopefully. Shirley was very excited, but Simon was a little bit nervous. I'm sure, I'm not sure about this, Ted, said Simon. What about Desmond, said Ted? But Desmond just stared. He's not very chatty, is he, said Simon. No, not really, replied Ted. But we can't give up now. I've got lots of stripy friends. What about... Bobby? But I can't swim, whispered Simon. Deborah, the stripy bug? She's very tiny, Ted. I might step on her. What about Jeff, said Ted? He's very musical. He's very noisy. Hattie? Too chatty. Trevor? No way. Well, you'll be pleased to know I've saved the best until last, said Ted proudly. Simon, meet. Mr. Twinklepaws! No! Simon had had enough. It's no good, Ted. I just need to get used to being an odd sock, he said sadly. But then he heard a voice. It was coming from under the drawers. Hello! Simon couldn't believe it. I found you, he cried. We're a pair. We can skate. We can bounce. We can hula. Come on, said Simon. Let's go out and play. But Simone had other ideas. Oh, I like going outside, said a voice. Betty gave Simon a wave. Simon waved back. I like playing, said Betty. So they skated and they bounced and they hula hooped. Everyone had to admit that even though they didn't match, they really did make a great pair. The end. I hope you all enjoyed that story. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye.